In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the CSS border style and all its different values, including dash, dotted, solid, ridge, and a bunch of others. You're going to have to find out what they all are by watching this video, and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. I have a very simple table. It doesn't even look like a table over here. I zoomed in quite a bit so you can see the borders as I create them and see what the difference is between the borders. But this is our table and inside of the HTML I have a style block created in the head section. And I'm just going to select the table, open and close the curly brackets and choose border style. Now there's a bunch of different border styles you can use. We're going to go through all of them right now. So we have the option of using solid which by default does this one pixel and the color of gray. You can define those colors as well, but for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna keep the default and just use the border style option. So this is the solid option. We have dotted, which dots the border. We have dashed available to us. And it's just like the dots, just dashes, bigger gaps, bigger lines. We have ridge available to us which if you really zoom in as far as I can go but you can see that there's you can see there's a one pixel wide black inlay to make it look appear 3d and there's another one called groove which is the same thing it, it depends on the colors you're choosing for your border styles but this one has a one pixel gray inlay and the outer border is darker we have the option of an inset border, which has the left and top side being darker than the right and the bottom. We have an outset option, which has the top and bottom being lighter than the right, or sorry, the left and top being lighter than the right and the bottom. And those are all the options that we have available to us for border styles. We have solid, dotted, dashed, ridged or just ridge groove inset and outset but what you can do which is pretty cool with css3 now is you can apply different border styles to different sides so if you wanted to have a dashed border on the top dotted on the right solid on the bottom and groove on the left that's how you would do it as we can see, dashed in the top, dotted right, solid bottom, grooved on the left. And so this is using the same principle as margin and padding, where the first value is the top, second value is the right, third value is the bottom, and fourth value is the left. And if you want to remember that acronym, or remember that sequence, there's an acronym that I use. It uses the consonants of the word trouble. So the word trouble is spelled like this, as you know. The consonants are TRBL, which is top, right, bottom, left. And that's how I remember um, which sequence they go in. And you also have the option of not using all four. If you just use two values, you're gonna have dashed on the top and the bottom and dotted on the left and the right, like so. If you use three values, you're gonna have dashed on the top dotted left and right and solid on the bottom. So the only thing that will change here is this bottom line will be solid when I refresh. And there's the solid line. And then of course when you have four is the example we just had where it goes around uh, clockwise according to the word trouble or the constants in the word trouble. And those are your border style options. You have quite a few of them. And of course you can add border color, which you're probably going to want to do. So I have a border color of red and it makes them all red. And of course you can do the same thing with the word trouble. Now the top is red, bottom is red, left and right are blue. 
and you can do the same kind of idea with the colors. So that's how easy it is to use CSS border styles. There's a lot of variety and they're pretty cool. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button, then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content. And then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.